hello youtube family and welcome back to my channel so for today's recipe i'm going to be sharing with you how to make this beautiful delicious party style eggsy soup recipe and if you have not subscribed to my channel please consider doing so subscribe so you don't miss out on this delicious mouth watering dishes so guys for today's recipe i'm going to be using some goat meat cow skin and cow food Okay guys, all the meat have been thoroughly cleaned, so I'm going to transfer to the pot. Then we are going to be popping in all the seasoning. To season my meat, I'm going to be using some curry, thyme, nutmeg, salt, onion and garlic powder. So I'm going to add this into the meat. Then I'll be adding some seasoning. Give this a good mix. Then I will transfer to the heat. And I'm also going to be adding some fresh onion. Then I will add water to cover the meat. Then cover the pot and leave it to cook until it's about 90% cooked. Alright guys, for the other ingredient, I have my ground egusi, dry fish, my already soaked and clean starfish, ground crayfish, palm oil, seasoning cubes, scotch bonnet peppers, and onions. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and blend the onions and the peppers. So after blending, I will transfer to the bowl of a goosey, then add a little bit of water, then mix this until everything is well coated. Guys, this is it. And this is the texture your egusi should be before frying it. So I'm going to set aside, then we'll be checking on the meat. Alright guys, so at this stage, the meat is 90% cooked. So I'm going to bring this down from the heat and transfer to a bowl. Then I will place back the pot. Alright, so I'm going to add some palm oil, then leave it to heat up. So once the oil is hot, I'm going to add some chopped onions and salt. Then I will stir fry for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, I'll go ahead and add the mixed egusi. Then we're going to continue stir frying this until it's dry. You need to work on this egusi. You don't just add your egusi to your hot oil, then add water. No, you're not going to get that tasty yummy delicious egusi soup so we're going to fry this continue frying it do not leave it so it doesn't burn so you just need to keep stir frying until that soggy texture is out of the egusi and the egusi is now scanting then falling down from your spatula your spoon or whatever you're using so you can see the texture of my egusi so at this point i like to add my crayfish and seasoning cube then I will keep stir frying for another 5 to 10 minutes. Alright guys, so once the egusi is completely dry, I will go ahead and add the meat broth. Then I'm going to mix, then add the dry fish and the stock fish. Alright there, so if today is your first time coming across my channel, you're welcome. Please feel free to join the family and please do me a favor by clicking on that red subscribe button. Please do subscribe to my channel and if you like this video after watching, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please click on that like button and don't forget to turn on the post notification so you don't miss out on my videos. Okay guys, so once I've added the fish, I'm going to just leave this to boil for like one minute then i will transfer the meat into the pot of soup 
Guys, I don't know if you can feel the aroma I'm feeling right now. The aroma is to die for. It's super delicious and everywhere smells so good. So just give it a good mix to coat well with the meat. Guys, this egg goosey is looking so fabulous and it's calling for... What is it calling for? I don't want to say it. So just leave it in the comment section, guys. So I'm going to add a little bit of water, then mix, then I will cover and leave this to cook on medium heat for 20 minutes. You want all the meat to soak in the egg goosey sauce. Okay guys, we're going to cover this, then let it cook for 20 minutes on medium heat. After 20 minutes, guys, this is it. This is my egusi soup. Look at how beautiful, how inviting, guys. It's looking for something. This egusi is looking for something, guys. What is it looking for? And do you have it? Do you have it right there? Bring it. Bring the plate. Bring the plate. <laughs> All right guys, so now my goosey is done. It's perfectly cooked, so I'll go ahead and add some fresh spinach. Then just give it a mix and the goosey soup is ready. Do you have semo, gari, or pounded yam for this? So whatever it is, just bring your plate and let's eat. Okay guys, so this is my egusi soup recipe, my party style egusi soup recipe. Just go ahead, make this for your party, your celebration, and make your friends happy. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please give me a thumbs up, okay? And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and share to your friends and family. Thanks for watching and Happy New Year.